So one of the NFL's top players fighting back after getting suspended for failing a drug test. Robert Mathis admits he took a banned substance, but claims he did it to enhance his fertility, not his performance on the field. ABC's Alex Perez has the story. This morning, one of the NFL's leading defenders, Robert Mathis, is defending himself in a performance-enhancing drug controversy. Great play by Mathis. He's an all-pro player who helped make the Colts 2006 a Super Bowl champs. But Mathis has now been suspended for four games, costing him $705,000, testing positive for the fertility drug Clomid. There is not one bit of evidence that Robert used this for anything but fertility. Clomid is banned by the NFL because it can be used to help enhance a player's performance. But Mathis's agent says he took the drug to help him and his wife conceive. The couple already has twin boys and a daughter, but want to give Mathis's ailing mother, diagnosed with stage four cancer, a fourth grandchild. The league should have looked at this, at this case, and said, Robert, you made a mistake. But the NFL is firing back, saying the player had the opportunity to go to several sources that he could have contacted, all of which would have advised him not to take the substance. The failure to do so has certain consequences. Clomid is FDA approved to treat infertility in women, but can also be prescribed to men. It can raise the testosterone levels. It can cause muscle growth and an increase in muscle size and strength. The Colts coach is standing behind his player. Uh, we've got his back. Mathis is wife is now pregnant and in a statement Mathis admits he made a mistake by not checking with the league before beginning his treatment and has accepted his suspension. For Good Morning America, Alex Perez, ABC News, Chicago. We're going to bring in ABC's chief legal affairs anchor, Dan Abrams. And Dan, you agree with the stance of the NFL? I don't think they had any choice here. Uh, it's a very clear violation of a very clear uh, rule. He could have gone to the NFL first. He didn't. And, and secondly, the NFL is now spending a lot of time talking about, well, this wasn't an FDA-approved drug for mm. male fertility. So what? Whether it was FDA-approved or not FDA-approved, it was banned by the NFL. I mean, Michael, isn't it pretty clear when it comes to the rules there about what, where that line is? Yeah, and what you put into your body is your responsibility. But does the doctor have any responsibility in this case? Well, that, you know, that's an interesting question because now you have Mathis pointing the finger at his own doctor saying, well, he cleared me. I guess I should have cross-checked it. The doctor trying to be very careful when he says, well, a lot of patients don't hear everything uh, when you go in there. Look, you can't point the finger at your doctor in a case like this and say, he told me it would be okay. You're an NFL player, you, you know it. the rules, you can't blame, you can't say his fault. And the doctor even said that he wasn't told that he was an NFL player. I think you would lead, you would open with that. Don't, if you get something, well, don't you? Anytime you, you have opportunity to take a lot of different things, but you take it to the team if you're not sure, yeah. you show it to your trainers, you say, can the doctor yeah. check this out? And it's your responsibility. And anything that boosts your performance, as they said this possibly could mm -hmm. do, is a violation ask of the first. policy. That's the key, ask, ask first. first. Well, and he's going to stand by the four-game suspension. All right, Dan, thank you very okay. much.